To create the best pallet rack system for your needs, follow along as we define the best way to approach calculating the dimensions you'll need to design your solution. We also offer a specification worksheet to help you select the right rack for your space. That can be found in our resources section of our website or by calling one of our product specialists. To get started, knowledge of the desired bay width of the storage area between the upright frames, including all levels, is required. A standard 40-inch wide GMA pallet commonly requires a 4-inch width between each frame and the pallet, as well as 4 inches between the pallets on a double-wide bay. Take the width of the pallets to get the bay width requirement. For example, 2 times 40 inches plus 4 inches plus 4 inches plus 4 inches equals 92 inches. In this case, a standard 96-inch beam length or bay width is needed. Beam length or clear span is measured from connector to connector. The beam capacity is calculated by multiplying the weight of the pallet and load by the number of pallets per level. For example, two pallets with a weight of 2,500 pounds each per level would be 2,500 pounds times two pallets per level equals 5,000 pounds minimum beam capacity. Next, examine the necessary upright depth. A typical application requires the depth of an upright to be six inches less than the depth of the pallet. For example, a standard GMA pallet is 48 inches deep. The pallet should overhang the pallet rack beams 3 inches in the front of the system and 3 inches in the back of the system. This ensures that a forklift driver has the most opportunity to sit the pallet on the beams when loading the material onto the pallet rack. In this example, the uprights should be 42 inches deep. Now let's calculate the desired height of the upright frame. A 6 inch minimum lift is required for a forklift to pick up and move the pallet. So add this 6 inches to the height of the load including the pallet to calculate the clear height required below each beam level. For example, if the load height including the pallet is 38 inches, you'll need a 6 inch lift to create the clear height requirement of 44 inches. Our example uses a 4 inch high by 96 inch long beam. You can add the clear height requirement, 44 inches, to the height of the beam, 4 inches, to figure out where the top of beam levels will be placed, levels at every 48 inches. If the customer required two beam levels in this example, we would have a top of beam level at 48 inches and one at 96 inches, making the minimum frame height requirement 96 inches. Make sure you have ceiling clearance for your top level. Weight capacity of the upright is determined by the vertical shelf spacing, in this case 48 inches. Take the weight of all the pallets the frame will be supporting and use the weight and the vertical shelf spacing to determine the proper upright. Please refer to the vertical shelf spacing chart for your brand of pallet rack. Depending on the application, you may choose to have a taller upright for additional growth. If additional growth is projected for the uprights, take into account the additional weight this will add to the upright frame. The completed rack section for this example would be 96 inches wide by 42 inches deep by 96 inches high. We offer all the components you need to make your storage facility efficient and secure. If you need help with designing your solution, fill out our pallet rack specification guide and call, email or fax us the completed guide and we'll help you get to the right selections.